All right, Alexandria, thank you so much for being here with us today uh, and, and helping the American Lung Association get the word out. And we wanted to hear your story. Uh, what inspired you to become involved with climate change activism? Yeah, so first of all, thank you so much for having me here. I'm really excited to be talking with you. So my story and how I got involved in activism actually happened after seeing the effects of climate change in my hometown. So I'm originally from Northern California. However, in August of 2018, I ended up moving to New York City and I ended up going back and forth quite a bit. And so during one visit back home in my hometown of Northern California, I was there when one of the worst wildfires in California's history happened, the campfire in Paradise, California. And that was actually one of the deadliest wildfires in the history of California. And so the smoke was seeping into my home and it made me sick and I also have asthma. And so that was a very scary experience for me. And so after seeing that, that's what really made me want to get involved in climate activism. So I went on to start school striking and I striked for over a year, starting on December 14th of 2018, all the way up until the beginning of the pandemic. And I also went on to found a nonprofit called Earth Uprising. And we focus on climate education so more young people can see the effects of climate change in their own community, just like I did and so many other young people are too. That's an absolutely wonderful story. It really is. And, and it's very inspirational uh, to all of us, uh, young and old. Uh, you know, I would agree with you, you know, these warmer temperatures mean more intense heat and drought. And I'm a fellow Californian as well. I'm down here in Southern California and we experienced the uh, wildfires of our own down here. And, you know, these with the warming of the earth, with these uh, in these the global temperatures going up, we are seeing more intense heat and drought and, and more frequent and severe wildfires. And. Uh, you know, it's not just the wildfires out in the forest, it's in the urban areas. It's where people live is what happened with you. And, you know, a very unfortunate statistic in, uh, you know, according to the National Interagency Fire Center, in 2020, there was over 57,000 wildfires that resulted in 10.3 million acres burned. And that was compared to 4.7 million acres in 2019. So it's very heart wrenching. Uh, to all of us, because not only does it hurt us, does it hurt you, does it hurt, it hurts children, it hurts adults, but it also hurts nature and the world that we live in. And, you know, from your end, from your perspective, why are wildfires a critical lung health concern? Well, I think that more people need to know the health concern of wildfire smoke, because smoke from wildfires can harm anyone nearby and even thousands of miles downwind, as I learned. So breathing wildfire smoke can cause heart attacks, asthma attacks, and other dangerous health effects that can shorten lives. And so I'm proud to work with the American Lung Association as a climate activist advisor, because I know just how important it is to have clean and healthy lungs. Well, we're absolutely happy to have you as a partner with us. And I agree with you, I'm a pediatrician and I'm also an asthma doctor. And it's been hurting my patients just like it hurt you. And it makes it harder for kids to go outside. It makes it harder for them to have the ability to go outside and play. Uh, and, and it hurts their lung development. And if they have diseases like asthma or other lung diseases, uh, it, it makes it worse and makes it harder to control as you've seen happen to yourself, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And let me ask you, uh, what are some steps people can take to address climate change and wildfires? Yeah, I talk about this all the time, and it's so important for everyone to understand that addressing climate change is something we all need to be invested in. So we need change at every level, small everyday actions to reduce your carbon footprint, spread the word, and also call for policy change. All of it adds up together. And so I encourage people to join the Lung Association, of course, and stand up for clean air at lung.org slash air. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for being with us and being a partner with us. Truly, you're very inspirational. We're very proud of the work that you're doing, and we're going to hopefully see the impact of that work moving forward. And once again, thank you so much for joining us today. 
Thank you. I really learned a lot from you too.